Hello everyone and welcome to iReddit, bringing you your daily dose of the internet for Tuesday, May 9th, 2017. I am Michael Schwann. And I'm Nathan Wood. Please remember everyone that you can help support our show by going to patreon.com slash daily internet. Nathan, how are you today? Uh, I mean, I'm alright. Yeah, you alright? Yeah. You alive? An average day. I, oh god, I started this morning fairly sick and then I slept during my lunch break. It was like, you know, maybe like... 30 minutes but that 30 minutes really helped me yeah i do the same thing on occasion or i'll, I'll even sometimes squeeze a like a 12 minute nap into my 15 minute breaks yeah oh, god damn although i've also been picking at my forehead if you couldn't notice you should stop that oh god i was bleeding like horrendous today i'm really bad about it there was one time though it was probably about oh i want to say about nine months ago nine months ago i went on my 15 minute break and I was like, oh, God, I'm really tired. I'm going to lay down. I'm just going to take a quick nap. And I, I laid down and friggin' woke up an hour and 15 minutes later. And I was like, D wait. And so I, like, went back to my office because the break room's in a separate section of the building and walked in and sat down and no one noticed. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> like, goddamn. All right. Well, one, I was tired, and two, uh, glad to know that no one gives a shit. I also had a guy compliment my hair. He was like, "Do you comb your hair?" I was like, "What?" And he's like, "Your hair is just very wavy. Is it natural? I mean, it looks great." I was like, "Oh, oh, you stop it." Maybe it's Maybelline. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think so. No, no, it's not. Because you have to buy special stuff so that you're not allergic to it. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I'm allergic to Maybelline. I've never checked. I'm fairly damn certain you are. Yeah. Just because of how many things... I, like At this point, I've probably picked up Maybelline checking to see if you are allergic to it or not. That's silly. I mean, because when we were first trying to find you shampoo that you weren't allergic to, it, <laughs> it we, like, me... That, that is a legitimate one. Yeah, me, Adam, and Brittany stood there at Walmart for a solid, like, hour, just going, reading the bag of shampoo bottles. Yeah, so no one has to see that horrendous look. You got some sick new headphones. Uh, oh, I mean, I don't. They're ones that's actually been sitting down there. I just got triple A's for them. Yeah. Yeah, the other white mic left them, and I told them, you know, they're here, you should pick them up, and he never has, so. He must not care that much. Yeah, I'm just gonna use them until he does. That's fair. Since I my headphones only work with uh one one, one ear one earpiece. Yeah, I mean, which is fine for work because I just pop that earpiece in so I can listen to other people and my podcasts. So. Yeah, all day long. Yep. Nonstop. You wanna know what I did all day today at work? Uh. No. So okay. yesterday. Uh, I spent all day long requesting certified mail receipts from the post office, and then today, I spent all day long attaching those to PDFs, and guess what I get to do tomorrow? What? Spend the entire damn day attaching those receipts to PDFs. Yeah, be careful. Why? Because of the PDF files. Okay. Is there a joke I'm missing? I like pedophiles. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, there, it, there was a joke I was missing. Anyway, okay. otherwise, you, uh, you ready to go? Uh, yeah. All right. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> Ten. Liberal Moon Jae-in wins South Korean election, according to exit polls. This was submitted by Serial007 to Our World News. It's also now been confirmed that they actually did win the uh, South Korean presidency. So, um, cool. how how old is he? He is, I believe, he's like sixty eight years old. Oh, uh, so he's kind of old. And he won, but with a forty percent of the vote. His next contender was had twenty five point five percent of the vote. It was expected that he would win. He lost a very very close race against the now leaving. Um, well, now impeached and imprisoned uh, president of South Korea. Um, yeah, that's a little different, Mike. Yeah, just a bit. But he, he did barely lose to Park before she took the presidency and then all that kind of stuff happened and such and such and such and such. But the thing is, is that they've had a very conservative leadership for about 10 years now. 
and yeah. he he's very liberal. That they are deciding a change up. It's just like what we did with our election. Yeah, except, except in the opposite direction. There you go. Well, and a lot of people are wondering what's going to become of this because he is very interested in trying to repair relations with North Korea. He wants to have dialogue with them and actually talk about how they can improve the situation between the two countries. He also is not big on the interactions that South Korea has had with the United States. He doesn't approve of the the anti-missile system that's being built at their northern border. He he's, he's down for talks with the north, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He want he 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 doesn't necessarily like them, but he feels as though we the better course of action would be talking to them. And he's not the only liberal that's won recently. I'm listening. Uh, the the French presidency was won by the youngest French president now. Yep. Um, uh, what was his name? Mar Marcon? E Emmanuel? Um, I don't... I can't think of the name right offhand, but I know that they won by a, a friggin' landslide. It's like 60-something percent, I think. Like, that was a no contest. Emmanuel Macron. Yep. Oh, yeah, because everyone's making macaroni Strong. memes. Yeah. Uh -huh. But, so, we'll see what happens. I mean, we there's been a lot of just change in the way that people approach world politics right now. I mean, because we do have a very different president for South Korea, a new very different president for France, and we'll see what's going to come of those things. He's already, um, it's really funny. Um, Emmanuel has already made a, President Emmanuel, I'm sorry. Has already made a um, a video telling engineers and scientists that he, they are more than welcome in France because their budgets will not be cut there. <laughs> but that, that see, here's the thing: is that while it is like that's almost a jab at us, and I understand that it is. At the same time, though, it's if, real tempting. Well, and that's the thing, like, if progress is being made, as much as I'd love for America to be, like, leading the charge and stuff, it, for me as a person, if progress for humanity is being made, and it's a, a, in a positive way, by positive people for a positive direction, I don't care where it comes from. Yeah, that's fair. I can appreciate that. So, but we'll see what happens. I mean, he already intends to push back against Thad, the the missile defense system in this in the north border. He wants to immediately Thad, Thad, and however the fuck you pronounce T H A A D. Um, Thad. He also and he also is he he wrote in a book that he published in January that he believes that South Korea needs to learn to say no to America. And it's not because he doesn't like us, it's just because he'd like to see South Korea be able to stand a bit more on its own. Yeah, he wants them to be slightly more independent. Yeah. And, I mean, they're, they are their, their independent country. I mean, it's not like, you know, the, what what are they called? Things like the, the friggin' Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Guam. Because they're part of the United States, but they're not called states. They're like... Territories? Maybe, I don't know. So, but I mean, South Korea is just completely its own country in every way. Like, they're not even part of the United States or however the hell you want to define that. No, we're just really good allies. Yeah, we just camp over all day, every day. We absolutely love their cool, super cool fighting style and K-pop. Yeah, K-pop's real awesome. Real good. Real and their good. Korean barbecue is the fucking... It's to die for. Yes, it is. Looking at I, you, Thomas uh, Demarest. God, I really want Korean barbecue right now. We should get Tommy D to make us a bunch of Korean barbecue. Well, I mean, if I'm you... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. T Thomas Demarest. If you buy the stuff, he'll totally make it without any question, qualm, or hesitation. Yeah. That's the problem, though, is buying the stuff. But, I mean, world politics is about to change, but at least w because they are the major, like, they're the immediate border there on North Korea, and I feel like a lot of people have, like, extended a hand to North Korea, but to, to talk, but not in a peaceful way, like, it, it it's like... Whole, like I feel like when like America has tried to talk to them and like China's tried to talk to them and stuff, it's been more like holding a hand up and out with the friggin' baseball bat held behind you in your other hand, rather than actually like you know walking up and like waving and saying hello and be like, so you want to sit down and chat for a bit? Mm, yeah, I can agree with you there. 
No, I can definitely agree with you. So we'll see what happens, though. It's gonna it's gonna be an interesting time. The world is gonna continue to change and evolve very rapidly in the next few decades. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Moon Jae-in is going to be serving a five-year term. Is the the term for their presidencies? Oh, that's interesting. It's not four. No. How many times can you be reelected? It, this doesn't particularly say. Oh, so. Don't know. We'll find out though. Eventually, one day, maybe I could look it up. Not going to. Nine. Jakarta Governor Ahok found guilty of blasphemy. So submitted by Ledback to Our World News. That this is that that. So Jakarta. Oh God! There is someone who who was recently. Uh, also, it was like in Ireland. Someone tried to press charges on him uh, on another guy for. For blasphemy. I'll find it. Well, I doubt it's something that can be punishable in... No, they, they threw it out the window because they don't really charge for blasphemy anymore. In Ireland. Uh, Stephen Fry. Stephen Fry. Sure. They, they, however, they do in Indonesia. J J Jakarta is the capital of Indonesia. And mm -hmm. on the campaign trail, um, former governor and now exiting and now going into prison governor, um, Ahok made a part of his political statement what used lines from religious text and it that is okay. very illegal there okay to the point that he lost the election and has been charged and is going to be put in prison for two years that's uh wow yep all because he referred to a verse in the quran during a campaign speech I don't know what to say there. That's kind of it's kind of fucked up. You want to know what it makes me say? What? I'm real glad that I live in America where I can say that any religion is fucking bullshit and stupid and this and you know, you're you're pledging your life to a book that you don't know exactly who wrote or whatever that Yeah, you can be pretty atheistic. Yeah, and like you can say those things and no like I mean someone will be like <gasps> But other you have wacky, funny religions like I do. Yeah. The whatever the fucking religion is where you praise the spaghetti monster in the sky. No, I don't. I don't do that. Not you, just in general. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a um a dudist. I I I I I do really wish though that we did have more separation of religion from the state. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do, and I have huge for that i really really want that separate well and it, it it upsets me the most because of how much time and effort is put in and garnering votes purely based on religion yeah like the whole thing of like we need more god in the white house and i'm like that's like not... no we we don't it's actually against the constitution it's right? like it, it, it's perfectly fine i don't give a shit what religion the the president is I just need him to run the country correctly and not be being put in there because he's be a God-fearing man. It. Exactly. Not be biased towards it. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know if necessarily you should be imprisoned for it. Maybe just, you know, just get that shit out of there. I mean, shit, in, in the most finum. Or something? I don't know. But it's a, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, but it's a much different place is what I was going to say. It's true. Town with brown water has no record of ever cleaning its water tower. This was submitted by Militzer to R Not The Onion. <laughs> what? Yep. So this town, uh, Leadwood, Missouri, um, very often has brown water that pours from its faucets and all that stuff. And then, you know, the, the, the towns that are... A little bit more out there a lot of them run off of a water tower it's very common that you know in smaller towns that the biggest structure and the most iconic thing is its water tower well this water tower was last inspected 17 years ago oh my god in 2000 yep oh before the god. before the current mayor ever got elected it's almost old enough to graduate. And so there is no law or rule in the state of Missouri that says that you have to have them inspected or even any rule of what condition they have to be in. That's not okay. No, no, it's not. That needs to be changed prompto. Probably. Yeah. 
but they have on most days very brown water to the point that they were describing what it's like to try to take a shower that no. on the worst days if you don't realize how bad it is you'll uh, some people have been purchasing swimmer nose plugs so that they can't smell oh you're taking a shower in that yep <laughs> all of your friends are gonna smell like that too yep oh it's so gross and the mayor is like well, water's fine at my place, and no one's really complained, and there is no rule that says that we have to do anything about it, so... What the fuck? Yep. This backward-ass town, oh my god! No, it's not, it, like, this isn't even the worst. Oh, god, there that's were, so gross. There were other towns in the area, one of which had, like, seven people die... Because the water tower wasn't properly enclosed, and so bird shit got into the water. All right, no, 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 no. that is literally not okay. <laughs> Seven people died. There's something fucking wrong, and someone's losing their job. Stat. Nope. That's fucking ridiculous. Because the dome over the top of the water tower wasn't properly secured, and it had a break in it, so the bird shat on it, and then wind and rain just poured the shit into the water tower that is not okay whatsoever yep there needs to be mass firings right there you know i said never live in oklahoma i think i might have to add missouri to that list it sounds like misery anyways yeah exactly i don't miss you i miss missouri no 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 I, okay Seven. The Vatican invites world-leading scientists to, dis to discuss cosmology. Ooh, this was submitted by Portis403 to our space. The Vatican is okay with space and the concept of the Big Bang Theory. Never thought I'd ever actually say that, but it's true. Um, they are Progressive. They are holding a conference from May 9th to the 12th honoring Monsignor George Lemaitre... Lem fuck. Lem Lemaitre? Sure. I don't know. Let me open it up and see. Keep going. Anyway, it's it, it's honoring a, a Jesuit a cosmologist that was considered one of the fathers of idea of the idea that the universe began with a gigantic explosion, and the the Vatican has taken a stance now that you can believe in God and the Big Bang theory at the same time. The theory now is just that God caused. George Lemaitre. Sure. The, the, the their their argument is just that God caused the Big Bang theory. Oh. Okay, so they're just like, all right, sure, there's enough circumstantial evidence of this. That doesn't mean he couldn't have gone, boom. Yeah, because, I mean, and, and, you know, because we, science suggests the Big Bang happened, but not why it happened. And so they're like, and, and that that's really what religion spawned from in the beginning anyway, was explaining the unexplainable to give an answer to that which you don't understand. And that that was that's where a, a ton of religion has been just founded on is just providing an answer where there normally isn't one or where one hasn't been discovered yet. Sure. And that just it continues on today. But it is cool that they're going to invite a whole bunch of cosmologists and just high brains and science to get together and discuss space. Yeah, no, no, I'm I'm down for that. It's pretty great. Go go figure out a way for us to get to another planet. That's really progressive, though. I, I appreciate them sitting down and, and talking just to, to scientists and Dude, everything about ever, it. Dude, ever since we got this new pope, just the, the Vatican and the entire Vatican... That, it's been very liberal. Yeah, like, it's just... It's, it's interesting because before, like, I feel like so many people had such a negative opinion of the Vatican and the pope... Because they were like, you know, like the, the, the highest tier of the Catholic Church of like, you, you know, punishment and stuff. And now the Pope's like, no, that's not how this works. No, we're Christians, guys. Yeah, stop being dicks. We, we may be a, sub, uh, a subsect of Christianity called Catholicism that does not stop us from being good people. S stop beating each other with your religions. Right. Six. I appreciate that. FCC should produce logs to prove the multiple DDoS attacks stopped net neutrality comments. 
This is submitted by Evan FFTF to our technology. So fire, we, fire, time, fire. <laughs> so we talked yesterday about with John Oliver requesting everyone to join the fight for net neutrality, go to the SEC's website and make a public comment regarding about how important it is net neutrality stays, right? Sure. Now, I remember the website crashed and the FCC came out and said, well, we were attacked. We had DDoS attacks, uh, denial of service attacks. And the, and it was like, okay, well, here's the thing is like, if that did happen, is it people trolling John Oliver? Is it someone trying to prevent those comments from being made so that their the voices are stifled of those who would like to fight again, fight for net neutrality? Or is the FCC just not wanting to admit that that many people have fucking sent in comments about protecting net neutrality? And when they were asked about it, they wouldn't give any of the information to the point that now they are being sued by Fight for the Future to produce those logs to substantiate that they were in fact attacked. Because if they weren't, then one, they've lied, and two, they are in they 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 either they themselves stifled the speed so that they couldn't receive that many comments, or they were overwhelmed by the response that was given. In which case there's something you're doing wrong if that's happening. Yeah. I you mean, and the, that. the website completely crashed four years ago when John Oliver made the, the call to, to action last time. Right. So it wouldn't be I too... Mean, it wouldn't surprise us. Yeah, and I mean, John Oliver's audience now is even bigger. Yeah. So, but everybody, if you would like to join the fight for net neutrality, please go to www.gofccyourself.com to go let's, to let's repeat that one more time www.gofccyourself.com one more time for everybody who's a listener because third time's the charm gofccyourself.com it's going to take you to a public comment section of the FCC's website. We you should get to seven. Go. <laughs> <laughs> you will see a link there that says Express. Click on Express, fill out the form, and say why you think net neutrality is important. And just send it in and submit it and help make sure that the internet stays free. I mean, it's super important, guys. It is. It's very important. I have already sent mine in. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, like you said, it's fucking important. Exactly. Five. James Comey terminated as director of FBI. Oh, buddy. This yep. was submitted by Jewish Doggy to our news. Jewish Doggy. Yeah, I... Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Oh, buddy. Effective immediately, there was a letter delivered to James Comey's desk when he wasn't there telling him that he has been terminated as, a, as the head of the FBI. Ooh. Yep. Uh, the, Why? So, that's up for debate. Yeah. But the, the actual, like, reason given is that he is no longer fit to lead the borough. He is no longer able to effectively guide them and lead them. This also coming after James Comey revealed that the FBI is conducting an investigation to Russian ties to the Trump campaign. Trump also came out in a statement that said that it was at the heavy recommendation of um, the Attorney General Jeff Sessions and um, Deputy Attorney General Rod Ro Rosenstein. So okay. Attorney General and Deputy Attorney General said we should get rid of this guy. Trump agreed. Effective immediately got rid of him. He's on a trip to California right now to do a speaking conference to look for new recruits for the FBI. He still intends to do that conference. But the thing is, is that if he's no longer a member of the FBI, it looks like he has to find his own way home because he won't be allowed on the FBI plane. That's so fucked up. Yep. So there's not a whole lot else to say on this. There, it, It's a very sudden action that doesn't have a whole lot of precedent set to it. Now... Comey has made a, has garnered a lot of public attention with everything involving Russia and with Hillary's emails. He's the reason why Hillary lost. Well, and, it's, and well, see you. And it's a huge, you know, it's a huge 
uh, he affected it greatly. Well, and also the funny thing is, is that on one hand, you have people saying that Hillary lost, but on Trump's side, you got a lot of people saying that Comey was trying to help Hillary. Yeah. So he, he's gotten himself into a lot of deep shit. And in some ways, that could be reasons for him to be removed as the head of the FBI. But it, it just seems extremely convenient that, you know, within what is it all of like a week after him admitting that they're investigating the Trump campaign and Russian ties that he gets removed. Yeah. He's been looking for a reason to fire him for about a week now. Yeah. Right. Well, what's funny is on May 3rd. So, you know, six days ago, Sean Spicer said that he had full confidence that Trump had full confidence in Comey. Yeah. He's said that before uh, about like Michael Flynn and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I know. So like, mm. So, I mean, right now, the acting director is going to be essentially Comey's right-hand man, the deputy director at the time. Um, and it will look as though that they are going to be looking to appoint someone new to that position, though. Surprise, surprise. Someone that they agree upon. Someone that, you know, will delay that investigation a little bit. Jesus Christ, guys. Come on. Yeah, I, I did provide an additional link in the show notes, though, for those that would like. There, the, there, there's one that's listed Mega Thread that has like 50 articles in it. If you want more information on this, it's it's in a very important topic. I'm surprised it's actually not number one. Well, I mean, when I grabbed it, the story was only a couple hours old. It's probably it was a babby. Yeah, it's probably shot significantly higher. Yeah. Um, God, these headphones are killing me. Are they too loud? Or are they squeezing your head? Squeezing my head. Maybe that's why the other white mic hasn't came and gotten them. You might be right. Maybe he's like, man, those things squeeze the shit out of my head. I don't know if I need them back right now. Oh, God, my mouse is so goddamn ugh, gross. Because I was eating pizza Four. and playing. Oh. Four. Sorry, I, did, I, I was trying to let you finish, then my finger bumped it, so. Oh, uh. Overwatch. Yeah, I was playing Overwatch. Good job. Time Warner Cable sued for deliberately interfering with League of Legends and Netflix. This was submitted by an audible smile to our League of Legends. I was very surprised that this was so damn high, but it's also just because New York's Attorney General, Eric T. Schneiderman, he, the, the city of New York is suing Time Warner Cable. This Good. is... Yeah, this isn't League of Legends suing them. It's not Netflix suing them. This is New York, the city, suing Time Warner. Yeah, fuck them. Yep, Schneiderman is seeking damages on behalf of hundreds of thousands of consumers who have experienced poor performance. Um, Time Warner Cable has also admitted... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the, okay, I can understand the Netflix. They weren't throttling League of Legends. That's just a lot of salty people complaining about lag. No, actually, it, it came out that Time Warner Cable has documentation that deliberately shows that they were throttling specifically connection to League of Legends servers and Netflix servers. I, I, I can believe the Netflix. I really can't believe all of those people were having lag problems. Well, you can now, be at least uh, as it, long as it, they... it has to be like half of it has to be salt. Well, I mean, there's a lot of salt involved. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it certainly caused a lot of salt. Oh, yeah. oh, most definitely. So, yeah. Um, yeah. This is the reason why net neutrality is important. Because otherwise... So they can't do shit like this. Yeah. Your rank score will fucking plummet. All right, guys? Um, or we can look at the, the, the larger base with Netflix. It'd be like, you just might not be able to watch Netflix at all. Like, because yeah. for instance, if net neutrality is removed, Time Warner Cable could sign a deal with Hulu that says they'll throttle connection to Netflix and give full connection to Hulu, and there's nothing you can do. Yep, and then you're gonna, and then you're fucking stuck there. Well, and right? the, the other you're thing, you're fucking stuck there with Hulu. Hulu's all right. They got a lot of great animes. They have a decent interface, right? They got some funny TV shows, not nearly as good as fucking uh, Netflix originals, right? But you know what? You know what pisses me off about Hulu? What's that? You pay for this service, and you get fucking ads. Not if and you... then you pay, 
you pay for more of the service and you still get ads. And then there's like a special select bit of service that you can pay for where you don't have ads. Yep, if you pay it like it's like seven dollars a month to use Hulu damn near at all and you'll get full ads. But if you go it like it's a, it's like fifteen dollars a month now for the ad free version of Hulu, right? Yeah, it's like double. It's a shitload. It's the worst. Anyway, so th this is the reason why, though. And the thing is, is like, like, let's say you live in an area and Time Warner Cable did sign that deal that says Hulu gets all the juice and Netflix gets none. For the, mo for the most part in America, you can't just be like, oh, well, I'll choose this other internet provider. Normally, no, you, only have, you usually only get one. Yeah, you're lucky if you have two and you are blessed if you have three. <laughs> There's someone. Who is sitting there, fucking like, oh my god, these guys, we absolutely need to, to help them. And this beautiful deity zaps down like four fucking internet service providers. But they're so broke they can't afford any of them. But one of them is Clearwire. Oh. That doesn't count. Yeah, no, it doesn't. No. Mm -mm. I've had Clearwire. I've had Clearwire. My mom had Clearwire when I first moved up here and I was like, mom... That this 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 shit's gotta go. It's such a rip off. Yeah. My mom was like, "Oh, GCI's bills are too expensive. Let's get Clearwire. We got motherfucking Clearwire." And holy shit, this was the time period where I sat there and watched Final Fantasy Advent Children for the first time. Do you know how I watched Advent Children? Ten minutes at a time, loading it an hour at a time. Ten minutes at a time on YouTube, and yes, it would load for an hour. Good work. I would get to watch three minutes over and over and over again until the full movie was done. I wanted to kill myself. I had Clearwire six years ago and tried to play League of Legends on that shit. Oh, get fucking destroyed. Dude, you go I, from five bars to two bars so quickly. I played so many games with like a, a second and a half lag. Yeah. 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 Yeah, oh god, it was awful. And then, like, uh, I, when I finally, like, got, like, GCI and my lag was, like, a hundred uh, milliseconds, I felt like a god. Yeah, you were like, I've lived harder lives. And, but also, the nice thing is, like, when it would, it would, the lag would spike up to, like, 500 mil uh, milliseconds, I'm like, oh no, this is fine. <laughs> 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 this, this is still perfectly fine. I can appreciate that. Three. Man with Down Syndrome retires from McDonald's after 33 years of lo loyal service. Holy shit, this was submitted by Kayleen Corner to our uplifting news. You know, I really wish that we had a new, a different name for Down Syndrome. Yeah. Like, because it, it feels, uh, like, almost derogatory to call it Down Syndrome. It feels like you're putting him down. God damn it, Nathan. Don't be making fucking puns out of. God damn it! You're I'm, the... I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know, I don't know if you are. Help. I don't. I don't. I, I feel like a lot of them would have appreciated that joke. Yeah, maybe. So I don't feel as bad about making it. Josh is spamming the chat room right now with little emojis. But at the same time, I kind of feel like a dickhead for it. Uh, you should. Anyway, so th there, this this gentleman with Down syndrome, 33 years old, started working at McDonald's and is, is now retiring after... No, he was not 33 years old. He served for 33 years. God damn it. <sighs> Word stuff and things. Anyway. He, he out of the womb and into the fryer. Yeah, right. Oh, dude, that's really insensitive. <laughs> like, <laughs> you just made a joke about cooking babies. That's not what I meant. Like, like that's so no. But you, you know what? Whatever. You can't do that. Um, they threw him a massive surprise retirement party. Um, his caregiver, who's been his caregiver for 16 years, is going to move him and his roommates um, to just a place where they can just enjoy retirement, um, fishing, traveling, and continuing to participate in the Special Olympics. That's cool. D does it tell you what event he's in? No. Oh, okay. It does not. Still, I mean, cool, still cool, though. Yeah, definitely. Congratulations, McDonald's. 
Mm-hmm. You are a place where uh, actually that sucks for McDonald's. They just lost a loyal employee. Yeah, and they will ne- they won't find another one of those for fifty more years. You think? I don't know. Someone's got to work there, right? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, one hundred percent honestly, if McDonald's would pay me what I'm making now and let me work the hours I'm making now, I would totally fucking work at McDonald's. But I know that that won't happen, so. If McDonald's could, if I got paid doing this for the most part, but I needed a part-time job, I would totally work at McDonald's so I could get free food. Like, that's the thing. Like, I, I don't have a problem working almost anywhere. It's just that the majority of places, like, don't pay much money or, like, the hours are shitty and, like, that... I, that's why that's why I had to leave the Boys and Girls Clubs because they weren't paying much. And it's really unfortunate because they couldn't pay much more, but, you know. But at the same time, goddamn, I need money. Yeah, exactly. So. It broke my heart, but you know what? I didn't have a soul, so it was okay. And you're dead inside. So, I mean, it was just the next natural I was step. largely dead inside. Germany breaks a solar record and gets 85% of electricity from renewables. This was submitted by Arzu1982 to Our Futurology. Slightly misleading headline. They got 85% of their energy from renewables for a single day. Now, it is the highest that they have ever achieved. Um, This was during May 1st. 85% of all electricity consumed in Germany was produced by renewables. The coal power plants had actually completely been shut down for about three days. They weren't needed. And uh, the nuclear power was drastically reduced. This is good stuff. They just, like, this was just a big, beautiful step for them. This is the most renewable energy they've consumed in a day, essentially. Now, depending on the day and the sun and stuff like that, they're not able to use as much. So, I mean, this was just the the situation was correct for them to use a lot of renewable energy compared to needing to burn coal or anything like that. But Germany does intend to come to have achieved 100 re- percent reliance on natural energy by 2030. Oh. So they're getting there. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's impressive that they're getting there in the least. Yeah, and I mean, that, that's important. We need... God, America, we are so fucking far behind. And we're we're just shoving ourselves even farther. Like, it it's depressing how far behind we are right now. Oh, I, I need to scroll... It's so I need to scroll covered. down. All of Josh's emojis are causing my computer to lock up and cry, and it's causing the stream to freeze. Yeah, I get that, too. Well, I mean, my computer is the one that feeds the stream to the internet, so if... You're a batty batty feeder? Uh, I mean, technically, by definition, in some ways, yeah. I mean, I'm the, the batty batty, and I'm feeding the stream to the internet, but if my computer cries because of emoji spam, then, uh, then, yeah. He does that on purpose. I know he does it on purpose, but unfortunately, my computer can't handle it. I, I... Ruined. It's ruining is it? I am uh I, I I have pushed my computer as far as it can possibly go without getting new parts in it, and I can't afford new parts. So anyway. One Wisconsin's voter ID law suppressed two hundred thousand votes in two thousand sixteen. This is submitted by S- Sally Yates is a hero to our politics. Sally Yates is a hero. All right. Um so in two thousand sixteen the year of the presidential election, Wisconsin passed extremely strict voter ID laws, which resulted in about 200,000 attempted voters to be unable to vote. Now, if you're wondering what impact that might have had, a large number, a a unproportional amount of these people that weren't able to vote were African-American and Democrats. Donald Trump won in Wisconsin by 22,000 votes. Whoa. So, if you want a little bit of context of how close that is. Now, that said, even if Hillary would have gotten Wisconsin, the numbers, like, with the other swing states that 
Trump managed to turn red, um, he still would have won. So I don't don't I don't want people thinking that like, oh God, Wisconsin. But if it happened in this state, it could have happened. You know? It could have, and there were other states that did ha institute very strict voter ID laws. But it it the point is is that this Feels happened. Like Nineteen. Whoa. Feels like nineteen forties fucking America. Sure, maybe. So there's not a whole lot to say about it past that. Just that there the the abrupt change in the rules caused a lot of people that normally would have been able to vote to not be able to vote, and it possibly could have influenced the election, especially with how close it was in the state of Wisconsin. Would it have completely changed the result of the election? Eh, maybe not. But it is a concern, especially because we, you know, we have another big election coming up next year with a large number of the House being up for grabs. The House is expected to change from a Republican majority to a Democratic majority, which will be a very interesting situation if it is, because then we'll have a Republican president and a, a de Democratic legislator, legislature, so a le Democratic Congress. And then in 2020, I mean, we have another presidential election, and that's not as far away as I know it feels sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, four years is kind of long, but at the same time, it's like we can live long enough. Yeah, just just survive. Yeah. Uh, I hate it, though. I goddamn hate it. 52 times 4 times... Three plus we're on episode 284 plus let's see how much is left of this year I don't know like just over half because I'm, I'm trying to see what rough episode we'll be on because it, it um it's because Three years of our episodes is, is an additional 624. Um, so hang on. What, what What is a year's worth of episodes? Roughly 208. So half of that, I'll just say there's half a year left, would be 104. So, roughly. Very roughly. Yeah. So 104, and we are on episode 284. And so that would mean come the 2020 presidential election... We will be sitting around episode 1,012. That's not so bad. Yeah. Dude, when we break 1,000, I intend to just, like, I don't even know. Uh, I mean, you, you might even show your balls on stream. Uh, probably not, because that'll get us kicked off of whatever platforms we are currently on at the time. Not if we live stream it on Pornhub. <laughs> oh, God, of course. God damn it. Just... You about to be a cam boy, baby. No. No. Oh, yeah. I mean, guys, if you donate a thousand bitcoins. A thou oh hey, a thousand bitcoins. Like <laughs> that that's over a million dollars. Yeah. Like I'm I'm not even playing. Let's do it. <laughs> like if, if all you need to see is a is a friggin' handful of uncooked chicken a chicken <laughs> chicken leg, then uh. for a million dollars we can talk. Gross. You're a prostitute. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, well, let's move into the post show, shall we? Are we gonna <laughs> escort our way into the post show? Look at me! Yeah, sure, why not? Nathan, what'd you care about in the last 24 hours? That Nevada is to open dispensaries by July, six months ahead of schedule. Uh, dispensaries as in marijuana dispensaries? No. Okay, what kind? The dispensaries of, of those fidget spinners. Oh, god damn it, son of a bitch, no. No, fucking pot dispensaries, god damn oh, it. Oh, okay, just didn't, glad we clarified that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god, it hurts. And you said that's in Arizona? No, Nevada. Oh, that's really close to the same damn place. They look the I same. Was, I was born in Nevada. Little known fact. Actually, widely known fact, but whatever. So when are they supposed to open? July. Neat. Yeah, six months early. And uh, so, uh, so they they will be opening about the time that I go there. And most of the regulations were copied from the state's medical marijuana program. From Al from Alaska? No, the, they already had medical marijuana there. Oh, okay, okay. So 
They just copy and pasted it for the most part. For uh, shit, what's the word? Recreational marijuana? Yeah. Sick. Yeah. So you move into Nevada? I mean, I could. I'll have family who lives there. So I could just move in with, like, my sisters. But, I mean, technically, and I don't want to be that guy, but technically, we beat them to it. That's fair. Good job. Are you proud of yourself? I... Eh. Eh? Okay, sure. <laughs> Robin Big, Big Black, dead at 45. This was submitted by Adam Sandlery Abish to our television. Yeah, Big from Robin Big is dead. Robin Big. Uh, Rob's the dude who had the skateboarding pit bull. Oh, yeah. Aww. Yeah, his, his big black friend is dead. That's really unfortunate. Don't have an official cause of death yet, but uh, it looks like it might have been a heart attack or heart failure of some sort. Which I mean, is he's, he's pretty big. Yeah, it's like he's a very big and very heavy and very overweight dude, so. My heart is crushed. Because of how big he was? Because of his, because of his death. You didn't even know who he was initially. No, I I didn't. I, I didn't until I looked at the picture. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like I I the random ass actual shit I've watched, I've actually watched way too fucking much of Robin Big for no realistic reason. I Hey. It's a good show. Yeah, it was a good show. And also because I I it appeared ended, on, on Fantasy Factory too. That was a good show. I ended up watching just like damn near everything that aired on Spike TV. That's that's fair. Uh, fucking what was the goddamn? It was basketball with um, fuck. It was basketball with uh, shit. Uh, trampolines. What was it called? Slam ball. Slam that shit ball. Was awesome. Yeah. A lot of people broke their legs though. Uh, slam ball. It was also where like uh, Law and Order SVU and CSI aired. Also old kung fu reruns. Uh, they would also air fucking MXC. That's Most it. Extreme Elimination Challenge. Yeah, that that's the one that I was looking for was MXC. What did we say today? Don't get eliminated. Everyone gets eliminated. That's not true. There's some people who don't. Yeah, I know. And those guys, those people are fucking either lucky as hell or gods. Both. Yeah, pretty much. Gods of luck. Although, like, I always... I So, question. Mm -hmm. Was MXC, like... Because... They weren't actually like so the, the the two host guys, right? Okay, okay, no, no, no. So this is this is how MXC was. All right, they took this uh, this this one guy. I think it was one. It might have been two. That is decided that it was going to be a fun idea to dub over a Japanese game show called Takeshi's Castle. Okay, that I never actually knew if that was true or not. No, that's absolutely true. Okay, because like I I because on one hand I was like this is just like a Japanese game show, but I feel like on one hand they could be mocking Japanese game shows. Dude, it's what spawned Wipeout. I know, and Wipeout's cool. I mean, it was all right, not anywhere near Takeshi's Castle funny. No, Takeshi's Castle is the best. Um, but like I one of my fondest memories of, of growing up was. Not wanting to get a haircut, so barricading my room shut with a um, uh, a, a chair after grabbing a bunch of, uh, like, two boxes of Capri Sun and, like, four boxes of Mandarin Oranges and just sitting there picking out, watching MXC while eating Mandarin Oranges and um, and drinking Capri Sun while my mom pounded at the door and my sister had to jump in the window. I remember uh, being Thank angry you. at my bus driver for not getting home fast enough because if, like there was delays in the bus, then I would miss MXE. Damn right. That show's amazing. It was amazing. Huh. Anyway. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm, I'm yeah. surprisingly tired. Nice to meet you, tired. Or surprisingly. What? You're, nice you, to you meet failed you, that, surprisingly. You failed that dag joke horribly. Yeah, I said, er, uh, surprisingly. Shut up. Just you shut quiet. up. I'll kill you. No, you won't. You There's gonna be one day you're gonna pop up dead, and the first people that that are going to point <laughs> fingers are everyone in the fucking audience right now. This would be like it was Nathan, and he's like, "Bitch, I wasn't even the state. Good alibi. How would you afford to leave the state? You motherfuckers! <laughs> I'll kill you." <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Oh, dude, check out, check out these plant cards that I have. Okay, they're okay. little Pokemon cards from Japan, but they're actual like playing cards. That's sick. I have two different sets. Oh man, I'm jealous. I got them in a, in a giant box of Pokemon stuff because I'm a giant fucking nerd. Yeah, you are. For some reason, either it's been there the whole time or I just noticed. All right. But the friggin' hang up buttons and stuff appeared on, on Skype. And I don't know if they've been there this whole time or if I and I didn't notice or if they just popped up for some random reason. Are you ready for the best Pokemon? Uh, sure. Ditto. It's, it's because it's all of the Pokemon. What? <laughs> some kid told me that and I literally lost my mind. All right. Anyway, everybody, if you would like to support this show, we would first ask you to go to patreon.com slash daily internet. If you checked out our sweet new intro video, if you didn't rewind this video back to the beginning, it's like 20 seconds long. Go watch it. Um, otherwise, I mean, that was paid for, supported completely by the patrons. Thank you very much to those that do support us. If you would like to help support us so we can do more episodes, longer episodes, we, I mean, we have a lot of stuff we'd like to do, but it all requires money. Patreon.com slash daily internet. Otherwise, follow us on social media. You can follow the show at I Read a Cast on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'm on almost all social media at Schwan Michael. Nathan's on almost all of them at Bimenstein. Be sure to send him all the memes. Otherwise, uh, you can listen to us on Stitcher, iTunes, Google Play. Uh, we have the video feed up on YouTube. Just search I read it. It's also available on Facebook. We go live on Facebook Monday through Thursday at 10 p.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time. Otherwise, you can send us an email to our inbox, which is feedback.iredit at gmail.com, or call and leave us a voicemail at 508-738-2278. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Anything to add before we leave, bro? Um, I know. Don't get eliminated! Hang on. I Don't get eliminated. Dude, no, no. What you're going to have to do is you're just going to have to put down MXC sound bites. MXE sound bites. MXC. Oh. What I Most say? extreme elimination challenge. You said MXE. Oh, uh, whatever. I, I can talk. There we go. Pin that comment. Uh, yeah. yeah. We're going to get so many of them. I'm not gay. As you if make we still haven't used it. Yeah, but, I know. You know we're we're going to get the MXC ones and we're going to use them constantly. All I fucking damn love them. Time. You make At the me very sad. end of the show, we're just going to be like, don't get eliminated. Perfect. I'm totally down for this. All right, everybody. That is episode 284. Uh, that is your 284th dose of the internet. I am Michael Schwann. And I'm Nathan Wood. And don't get eliminated! eliminated! Perfect. Wonderful. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye. Uh, wrong button. There we go.